All we hear all day long right now is Trump's on the march. It's getting closer and closer and closer. Is this race really tightening or not? What I'm hearing in our world is a lot of eye rolling at the constant forced drama on cable television oh. every night about how another state is, I tweeted, Mars is now in play. You know, everything's in play or not in play. It's also pole this madness. You yeah, complete pole every... madness. People who respond to the cable noise are thinking it's even money. It's tightening in a meaningless way. She's got an electoral college lock. She is choking him out. Do I think Hillary's gonna win? Yes. Distant chance that some weird, strange thing happens and, and Trump pulls it off? I think it's not out of the realm of possibility. Trump had a collapse. He's now getting closer, but he's still Trump. With women, with Hispanics, I mean, he's in a demographic cul-de-sac. What's the hardest conversation you've ever had with a candidate? I was a lot younger than I am now when I was McGovern's speechwriter in 1972. We were getting these enormous crowds the last week. Incredible crowds. Frank Mankiewicz called me the day before the election. Uh, someone needs to tell him that he's not going to win. We're looking for a volunteer <laughs> song. <laughs> so I go into the suite. I said, Frank and Gary <laughs> want me to tell you that it's not going to work out. And he said, oh, Bob, I know that. And he said, you know, I've known that for a while. But for the next 24 hours, I need to pretend. It's five days to election day. Um, what do you think is going on in the Trump campaign? If you're losing, if there's almost a psychosis in the last four or five days. Because you can't say minus six days, well, we lost. <laughs> no, you can't. So everybody meets, everybody hasn't slept, everybody's on sugar and rage, and then somebody says, you know what we need to do? We need to go to Michigan and campaign for 24 hours on a glow-in-the-dark bus with a stuffed Hillary head on the top and a Viking helmet, and everybody runs around yeah. with exactly right. do something. Trump, he thinks they're expanding the map, they're doing what I want to do, we're going to all these places. What the team is doing is saying, it's third and 65. We can try to drop kick from here. Even in light of bad things in the last week, they're giving him good news. Yeah. You try to get them to yeah. have that smile on their face, sure. that chipper attitude. And we know the reality is this thing is Trump is maybe a one in seven shot, and I'm probably being generous. Yeah. Everybody he knows is voting for Trump. And it's all anecdotal info. Yeah. People coming up to him on handshake lines. My cousins in Connecticut are voting for you. Maybe I ought to go to Connecticut. What will Trump do election night when it turns out the bubble and all the good news doesn't happen? Lose his mind. Yeah, I think so.